Hi guys, this is Advanced Music Theory, lesson number seven. We are going to be talking about diatonic triads again. And uh, more specifically, we're gonna talk about how to label them according to the scale degree that they're built upon by using Roman, Roman numerals. So you may have studied this in school. Roman numerals are like a system of uh, numbering that was invent invented by the Romans a very, very long time ago. So we actually use Roman numeral system to label uh, triads based on the scale degrees that they're built on top of. So we're gonna use the lesson on Roman numeral analysis for triads and that's in musictheory.net. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that. So uh, we early, in a previous video, we talked about diatonic triads and basically we're building triads on top of each degree or each note of a, a scale. And so, and I started to kind of mention how um, we kind of like talk about the scale degrees when we build these triads. So when we analyze music, uh, each one of these diatonic triads is actually going to be labeled by a Roman numeral. And um, so the first diatonic triad of a scale uses the Roman numeral for one, which is this symbol here. That's number one, or is the first scale degree. This is also called the tonic. So the second diatonic triad uses the Roman numeral for two, which is here, the second degree of the scale, and so on. The third degree of the scale is gonna use the Roman numeral for three, and then this is four. And if you're not familiar with how this works, uh, the way the Roman numerals work is uh, you have this capital I for one, and then you add another I for number two, you add a third I for three, and then uh, this cap, uh, capital V is actually five. And if you put a Roman numeral before another, you're actually subtracting from there. So this I is one and it, to the left of V is actually five minus one, so it's four. And then V, as I said before, is five. And now we put uh, one to the right of the V, which is five plus one, six. And then finally, two I's after the V, so that's five, six, seven. So if you've never seen Roman numerals, that's basically, that's the gist of how they work. Um, so uh, on top of using the Roman numeral to label the scale degree, we're gonna uh, write them in different ways to um, take note of the quality of the triad. And remember, the quality refers to whether it's major, minor, uh, diminished, or augmented. So we're going to use uppercase numerals uh, to represent major triads. Uh, for minor triads, we're gonna use lowercase. So we're gonna use the same uh, Roman numeral system, but instead of uh, capital letters, we're gonna use lowercase letters. And if you use an uppercase numeral with a small plus sign to the right of it, this is an augmented triad. And uh, just to give you, uh, give you an, an understanding of why that is, we use the uppercase because an augmented triad has a major third at the bottom. So it's major, but then the outer um, interval of an augmented triad is not a perfect fifth, but rather an augmented fifth. And that's where that plus comes in. That plus is supposed to symbolize uh, that that plus half a step that makes the augmented triad. Uh, so that's why we use this kind of uh, system to label it. And finally, uh, lowercase numeral with a small circle represent diminished triads. And uh, so the circle is diminished. Remember a diminished is a half step less than the perfect interval. Um, and because the diminished triad has a minor third at the bottom, we use the lowercase Roman numeral to label it. So let's talk about C major scale. And these are all the diatonic triads for a C major scale. And this is the quality of the triad underneath. Remember, uppercase is major, lowercase is minor, and uh, uh, lowercase d is diminished. 
in that system. Let's use Roman numerals now, which is what we use to analyze chords in music. So the first triad is major. So it's going to be an uppercase one or an uppercase I. That's the Roman numeral. The second triad is a lowercase two or lowercase I because it's a minor triad. The third triad is a minor triad, so we're going to use lowercase uh, three in Roman numerals. The fourth triad is major, so we use uppercase four in Roman numerals. Fifth triad is major, so we use an uppercase five in Roman numerals, which is the uh, uppercase V. Uh, the sixth triad is a minor triad, so we use lowercase vi which is five plus one six uh, the seventh triad is diminished so we use the roman numeral for the seventh for number seven lowercase with a circle to the right and finally the last triad is also an uppercase one because it is also the first degree of the scale just an octave higher uh, so these are the basics of Roman numeral analysis. Let's look at it in natural minor scale. So the first triad in a minor scale is a minor triad. So we use the lowercase i, number one. The second triad is a diminished. So we use lowercase two with a circle. Uh, the third triad is uppercase three because it's a major triad. Fourth triad is a lowercase four because it's a minor triad. Fifth triad is a lowercase five because it's a, a minor uh, triad. So this is the sixth triad is going to be an uppercase six. Uh, that's a, this is a major triad, so that's why it's uppercase six. And the seventh triad is also uppercase because it's also major. And finally, the last triad, which is the same as the first, is a lowercase i or lowercase one in Roman numerals because it's minor. So we could continue and take a look at the C harmonic minor scale. And basically, most of them are gonna be the same. The only chords that are gonna change are the ones where we now have a B natural instead of a B flat. Remember, the harmonic minor has a raised seventh degree. So the third triad is now augmented. So we're gonna write an uppercase three with a plus sign. Uh, the fifth triad also changed. We have B natural in the middle. So that makes it major now. So we're going to write uppercase five uh, in Roman numerals. And finally, the seventh degree is going to have a B natural at the bottom. That's going to change that uh, triad from um, a perfect fifth to a diminished fifth. So that's a diminished triad. So we're going to write that with lowercase seven in Roman numerals with a circle to the right. So you see, um, this is just another way to label these diatonic triads. And uh, as you will see, there is a reason why we use these labels. Uh, when we start analyzing music, we're going to start seeing uh, the kind of beginning of what's called the harmony, which is how do we use different chords together to create a song? And I kind of touched uh, on the, this basic concept when we started uh, the advanced music theory lessons on chords. So um, this is getting us a step closer to that. And by the end of this lesson, we're, uh, by the end of the, uh, this uh, cycle of advanced music theory lessons, we're gonna do a simple analysis where you will be able to see how all of this ties together. All right, see you guys later.